I'm speaking with my dad, John Campbell, and uh, he was in World War II. And dad, when you were uh, uh, a young man, and tell me what happened that precipitated you thinking about going into the war. Well, all my friends were leaving. They were all being drafted, and I didn't want to go in the Army. So I took a train to Jersey City and, a, and got over to New York to State Street, and I volunteered. And then they s gave me two weeks, and then I took a train down to Baltimore, and I went to uh, Curtis Bay and did my six-week training. Then uh, I got, went back to Norfolk. They put me on a bus and they sent me to Moorhead City, North Carolina. And when you first were going to volunteer, what was it that happened in the country that made you think, I better, I, I want to serve my country? Oh, there, there was a big, the big, the big war was in Europe, plus the one that's in the Pacific. So, so the I war, thought, I, thought I helped out. The, thor the war was already waging in Europe, when and I, had they bombed Pearl Harbor yet? Had that happened? That happened, uh, when was it, December? And I went in in May, the following May. Okay. Seven or eight months later. So that was all part of it. And, and you say all of your friends had uh, volunteered, so it was sort no, of like they a... they didn't volunteer, they were drafted. Oh. So and they were all going to Fort Dix. Okay. And then when you went to New York and you uh, enlisted, did you have a choice of the branches of the service to go into? No, I just, I could have went to the Navy, but I picked the Coast Guard. Why'd you pick the Coast Guard? Because <laughs> I, saw, I saw two of them walking at the beach in Asbury Park and I thought I would get there. <laughs> Didn't happen. <laughs> So now you're enlisted, you had your um, training, and then where was your first service? What was the first what? Did you launch a boat? Did you wind up going out on a boat the first, the first time it was used in the war? No, I went to electrician school, and then they, they assigned me to the USS Thenum. It just was built in Kearney, New Jersey, and I picked it up in Brooklyn. And then we went from there to Norfolk, right through the Panama Canal to Pearl Harbor. When you got to Pearl Harbor, it was months after the attack had happened. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw the, I saw the battleship in the water right when we got there. You know the one that was sunk, I'm yeah. sure? Yeah. And then we started jumping around the Pacific, Guadalcanal and every different island. And then they sent us back to, uh, San Francisco and uh, Oregon, and then they sent us out again after th three weeks or something. Picked up fresh supplies and more people, I guess, and then we kept going back, and then we went to the invasion of Okinawa. So that was the main invasion and, and ex uh, action that you saw? I was in part of the invasion. And where were you during the, uh, the were there, there were attacks that were going on around the ship while you were in the ship? I was stationed in the electrician's room because I had gone to school in Boston for a big electrician. And then uh, I got a phone call from this man that was down in the uh, ship and all the smoke was coming from uh, all the ships that were in, in around us. and. It all it was all going down, a lot of it was going down into the engine room. And this guy called me with a panic. And I went down and guided him out. And the commander heard about it, and that's how I wound up with a Bronze Star. Mm -hmm. Then we went to, after the invasion, we wound up back in the Philippines. And then we went back, uh, sent home. I went through the canal again and got to Brooklyn and I was discharged. So you served from when until when? What were the dates when you went into the service? I don't have the dates. Yeah. 40, 42 to 44, three years and 10 months and 10 days, I think <laughs> I read. Was there ever a time during that 
time when you were in the service when you were allowed to come home, or were you away all that time? I was home once. Once? After the first six or eight months, I guess. When you were away, uh, back then, of course, there wasn't much communication. How would you communicate with the family? Just letters back and forth? Letters. Yeah. And your mother would miss you at the time, and you had three other brothers. And Were they in the service? No. The oldest one had eight kids or seven or eight kids. The next one had six. And uh, the youngest one had a disability. He had a replacement hip. Mm -hmm. So they turned him down. But the second one used to do volunteer work up in the top of number three school in Bayonne, looking for uh, enemy planes. Really? Mm -hmm. Now when uh, um, everybody was away, what did you hear about that when you came back, how things were? There weren't too many men in most communities throughout the United States, right? Yes. While the war was going on? When I came home for that one visit, to there was nobody here. None of my friends were around. They were all in the army, scattered all over the United States. Did, during the war, were there any friends of yours or people you served with who were uh, hurt or killed in action? Yeah, yeah. Uh, can't remember his name right. I think there was two of them. And these yeah, guys? A guy named Ward. He was uh, on an airplane and out in the Pacific, and they never did find his body. They don't. They have no. They had no idea how he died. Mm. And then there was another one was died in combat. But so these were two friends from Bayonne who were serving in other places in the service. Yeah, I went to Holy Family with the ward guy, from high school. Mm. No one on the Thenum was uh, hurt, was there? Was anyone on your ship hurt while it was in the invasion? No, minor stuff. And you had, did you mention to me one time you had a, a, one of those kamikaze pilots that flew at the ship? Yeah, our ship was credited with uh, uh, shooting down two uh, Japanese planes. And did you, were you down, you were down in your assigned area during this ac action that was going on? But yeah. you could hear all of this stuff above you? No, not really. Yeah. I guess, uh, during that time, I could have been taking that guy out of the engine room. Yeah. Now, um, when you came back home and uh, the war was over, what was that like, the feeling that everybody had? It was a good feeling, but, and then a lot of my friends were, were home, so we wound up going up to the, where we hung out and meet, meeting all the guys, and they're patting each other on the back and everything, you know? Yeah. Some of that happened in Times Square. Were you in any of that action in New York when they were? No, no. That was all happening while you were still serving. I was I guess. in. I was in Florida when that happened. Uh, Jacksonville, and, Florida. And when uh, when you came back home, what was the thought about? Well, how do I get back to you know, having a life again and well, setting went, up a family? Well, I went back and worked in Western Electric again. They took you back. They had they had to take you back. And oh. you worked there, so I went back to the Western Electric, where okay. I worked before the so. war.